Welcome to Tanaka in three, two, one. Welcome to Tanaka in three, where I share with you three practical points in under three minutes. Quiet quitting. It's different than you think. Quiet quitting is all over the news, and it's a concern for leaders, but we need to explore this issue beyond the surface. Indeed, the hiring company reports that the term quiet quitting differs from what we've heard in the media. Various generations they surveyed, indeed, define quiet quitting as taking time for oneself during the workday. Now, the company, indeed, conducted a survey of about 1,000 workers across generations to identify how they are experiencing and finding solutions to overwhelming work issues that leave them feeling burned out. Across the board, workers are feeling burned out. Gen Z is feeling it the most at 78%, followed by baby boomers, 72%, Gen X, 63%, and millennials, 60%. Indeed's recommendations, one, set boundaries. To younger generations, quiet quitting doesn't necessarily mean anyone is slacking off. Almost all workers say having time to take a break during the day helps them to produce higher quality work. More than half said that they sometimes end their work day at 5 p.m., even if it means leaving work unfinished. They realize that setting healthy boundaries means that they can finish up projects the next day. 2. Recognize definitions of above and beyond. While Indeed's most recent survey suggests that setting boundaries is crucial for employee well-being, many still think that going above and beyond at work is necessary for getting ahead. The most common ways workers go above and beyond are by helping co-workers finish tasks and spending extra time on tasks to make sure they're done perfectly. More than 40% of workers of all generations take on tasks outside their job descriptions every day or every week. Sometimes they work after regular business hours and during lunch breaks as well. Number three, inspire your people, give them purpose. On the opposite end of the spectrum, feeling motivated at work tends to inspire employees to stay put with a company. More than 40% of baby boomers and 35% of Gen Z said that they feel most motivated when their work is meaningful and challenging. Gen X's top motivator was being supported by their company's leadership, and millennials cited feeling motivated when being fairly compensated. Despite their differences, every generation seems to be having similar experiences at work these days, too. Motivation is a struggle, and burnout is common, and they see boundaries and quiet quitting as solutions to these problems. We leaders need to understand these generational differences of motivating our people. Take action. Make a difference. You want more? Check out www.lancetanakagroup.com.